Hey guys, it's Ashley from Bacolics Anonymous, and this is another book review. And this time it's going to be of Alienated by Melissa Landers, you guys. I recently just bought all the books in the series, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to read all the books in a row and see how that is. So that's what I did, and I'm so glad I read this series because it is so cute. And I rarely read anything that has aliens in it or sci-fi or whatever in YA. But this was the cute this was a cute book and I'm so glad I read this and I'm glad I finished the series and it's just adorable. Um it's about a girl named Kara. And so two years ago on Earth, um aliens made contact with them and ever since then it's been kind of like iffy between the two worlds and so they decided to do like an exchange a planet exchange student thing and one of the aliens came to live with Kara and one went to live with somebody in China and one went to live with somebody in France or somewhere over there in that area, England or somewhere over in that area so this story follows Kara and the um, boy alien that came to live with her for the year and it's just, it starts off, you know, the, the guy um, who I will call, well, his name is, I think it's Alex is how he pronounces it, but it kind of reminds me of Alex, but I know that's not right because they're always making fun. But anyways, um, Alex comes to stay with Kara and he doesn't want to get involved. He doesn't want to be on planet Earth. He wants to be home where everything makes sense to him. And, so him and his um, two other, the two others that, the other, two other aliens um, decided that they were going to try to um, stop the alliance with their planet and Earth. So they do some stuff that, you know, they probably shouldn't have and come to find out other stuff and it's just a whole big disaster pretty much waiting to happen. But throughout the story, Alex starts kind of understanding Kara and her planet. And, of course, we know he's going to probably fall in love with her. And it happens, you know, gradually, not like, boom. But, yeah, it's just, I love it. I love the, I love their, the relationship as it grows and how Kara despite everything her friends and her boyfriend and friends uh, you know and her town and everyone thinks of this boy living here and stuff and the alliance between them not liking it she basically stands up for him throughout the whole book and takes his side and it shows the kind of person she is and it's just, I love it. Um, and I will say, what makes me happy most is, since I've read all three books, I know, um, it's hard not to say what happens and stuff in the other two books, because I'll do reviews for those. But there's no love triangle, basically, is what I'm trying to say. I mean, there might be like a little bitty one at the very beginning because she has a boyfriend, but you know, that, you know, that's not going to work out very well. And as we get into the other stories, we'll talk about those. But in this one, in this book, there's no love triangle, really. It's just Kara and Alex. Alex, Alex. We're going to call him Alex. And it's just so cute. And um, I'm so happy I read it. I mean, we, I loved getting to see Alex trying to become a human and his views on stuff and one of the other things I love about this book is the family dynamics like I'm so happy to see an actual mother and a father in the story who are definitely present and maybe beyond present a little bit because they're just the love that they have for each other you can see that too and they love their family and it's just awesome to see that because we find out that Kara's also okay with this alien 
and with the Alliance because her mother had cancer and this planet gave her mother hope and gave her kind of, I guess, like a cure and she lived. So she also has that to, you know, thank the aliens for. And I think they're called Lier. I'm not really sure how to say the alien race name, but we're going to go with Lier. So yeah. So basically this whole book is about, um, Alex, Serene, and Aaron, which are the three aliens, trying to mess up staying in Earth when they find out that they probably shouldn't end. I'm not going to say the end because, well. But definitely, if you haven't read the series, start it. Because, and you can should read all three of them through. Because it's awesome. And you'll definitely want to read it. And most of these books only took me like a day and a half to read. And I usually don't do that. So yeah. That is what I think about Alienated. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And I will see you guys next time.